Welcome back everyone. Today I'm just approaching the old former Audian building just across the road and for the locals out here you know very well this building holds a lot of history and just around the corner there I'm going to meet Mark who is going to show us a bit of history that's been exposed by some pipe work just outside the building itself. Today I'm talking to you live and direct from the centre of Bradford and behind me is a building that's very, very dear to me, the former Odeon. Now, before the Odeon building had been constructed in 1930, an old brewery had occupied that site, Whitaker's Brewery, or it was more informally known as the Old Brewery. It was demolished in 1928, but across the road from the brewery, there was some shops and offices. They were known as the Whitaker Buildings. And underneath the road was a series of cellars that connected the two properties. Behind me, Prince's Way stretches across numerous lanes, but back in the day, before Prince's Way was constructed, there was New Victoria Street here, and that was quite a narrow street. So the Whitaker buildings were actually quite close to what was the New Victoria Gaumont Cinema. I'd say roughly where those two black pipes are, that was the corner of the Whitaker buildings. And if we just glimpse down here in this trench, we can see that they are currently laying down new pipes. But these works have actually offered a tantalising glimpse of what used to be here back in the day. 1957 was actually quite a pivotal year in a lot of ways. Elvis Presley made the film Loving You. Thank you very much to Andrew Bolt's mum for this. And also in 1957, over in Liverpool, the world famous Cavern Club opened. It started off as a jazz club, and then eventually it became a launch pad for the Mersey Beat sound. That's where the Beatles and Jerry and the Pacemakers and a whole host of others launched their careers in England. And over here in Bradford in 1957, there was a guy called Mike Lamb who worked up at the St James Market and he had an idea that Bradford needed a similar venue to the Cavern Club. So in the former brewery cellars or vaults, which lay underneath New Victoria Street, he opened a venue called the Students Club, which started off as a jazz club and then as the years went on, it evolved into a little bit of a rock and roll venue and it closed in 1962. And then the Whitaker buildings on top of it were demolished in 1965. So these excavations have actually revealed something quite interesting. If you look through here, and I don't know if you can make out there, there's actually a cellar opening. It's mostly covered up by those three support girder things and you can just make out to the side of it a piece of steel. Now that'll have been the support for the cellars of the Whitaker buildings. So it's approximately under there, some 60 odd years ago, where the youth of Bradford, and the jazz fans of Bradford will have all convened under there. The jazz club didn't have an alcohol license, so there was no drink served down there, but it was quite a groovy place tables with candles on and there was actually a rumour that David Hockney used to frequent the students club and he had actually painted a wall mural but that's long since been uh, dismissed and discounted. This area is going to be filled in again quite shortly but this will be our only glimpse of this particular slice of Old Bradford history. 